Hey, Max here. This is going to be my non-spoiler review of Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. I had the pleasure of seeing this early thanks to my Amazon exclusive invitation that I paid for. I do not get free screeners as of today. I really look forward to the opportunity to see this movie. And I am not a huge Dungeons & Dragons fan, so I hope to give you my perspective and tell you why I love this movie. Warning, this video contains... All right, I'm not a huge Dungeons & Dragons fan. I love fantasy, I love action, I love comedy, I love special effects, I love practical effects, and you know what? You don't have to be a Dungeons & Dragons fan to like this movie. It really surpasses, in my opinion, um, the hardcore in, in this fandom. It really does. I also want to put at your your fears at ease if you think do you see a trailer that looks great and you know what hollywood knows how to cut a trailer all the best parts are in the trailer i will tell you what it gets even better on the big screen if you liked what's in the trailer you're going to get a lot more of it and some surprises and the humor lands every single time the comedic timing is impeccable. Well, Chris Pine, this is you you expect this from Chris Pine, but the surprise is the rest of the cast. The rest of the cast is well formed. They all feel relevant. Their storylines are very integral to each other. And I'll tell you then the 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 standout here is Michelle Rodriguez. Michelle Rodriguez. Now, I've been a fan of Michelle Rodriguez. I think she was in a boxing movie back in the day. She's been Fast and Furious, Avatar, but never have I seen a role where she gets to shine and shows the diversity of her talents. Action, comedy, and, you know, her acting, different side of her acting ability in Man, is she a hidden gem in Hollywood? It kind of makes me feel like she should have been given more opportunities in the past. And I think after this rule, you're going to start to see her star shine more. Also, we get uh, Justice Smith, I believe. I've seen him in a few roles. Like, uh, wasn't it? Wasn't he in Jurassic World? Or this one of the Jurassic Worlds? And then he was in Detective Pikachu. And I've always liked it. This is also one of his best roles. Um, this character on, on the right here, which is a, she's like a changeling type character where she transforms into different beasts. Really, really, some of the best scenes in the film. Really good stuff. And they all, all get their time to shine. Uh, I was also surprised by the practical effects mixed with the special effects. A lot of fun. And I think it helped. I think it helped the actors. I really think it helped the actors. Amazing action. Amazing action. And just overall fun. Now, the story. It centers around uh, Chris Pine's character. And how all the other characters... Uh, Edgin Darvis, uh, and how all the other characters are integral to his story too, how they connect, why are they helping him, and why are they on the quest. I also feel like the quest, where you start and where you end, does feel epic. And it does feel, yes, at the, at the beginning, not to give spoilers, but at the beginning, you feel like, how is this crew going to accomplish anything and that at the end of the film you feel like they can't there's no stopping them in talking i know you dungeons and dragons fans like leveling up i feel this crew's leveled up 
and I believe this is a franchise starter. I see this doing extremely well at the box office, great word of mouth, and not to diss Marvel or something, but this is on par. It's not. It's nothing like a superhero. Well, fantasy superheroes combining, forming a team. It's it's on the if you love the fun that you get some of from that, you're really gonna feel a team gel here. And I feel like they go through obstacles, you grow together, you feel like you're on the ride. If there's any downside, I could say potentially the villain was still really cool. Villains. The villains are really cool. Um Maybe there could have been more with the villains. Maybe there could have been more with the villains. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is going to start a sequel and a whole series of movies with these characters because I want to see again. And then the uh, the one, what's that one character? Uh, Zank Zendar? Ren uh Regi Jean Page, I believe he's from a networks Netflix series Bridgerton. I was also shocked by his character, how cool his character was, because I didn't get that in the trailer. That's another. That's another. Basically, I don't think there was any wasted character, any wasted parts of this film. The pacing is great, the humor is great, and I don't. Even though at the end it leaves you wanting more, you do feel satisfied. You do feel satisfied, and you were taken on a journey. Instant rewatch for the for me. I can't wait to see this again. Can't wait to, to see this again. And I would recommend this to anyone. Um, if I were gonna score like the visuals out of ten, I I say it's like an eight out of ten, eight out of ten. But I I all I I want it, I want to give it more on the visuals. Just, uh just because they mixed in uh, practical effects too, and you could feel it. Um, the humor for this type of movie, highest marks for this type of movie, because, oh, the jokes land, and they surpass what are in the trailer. They're funnier. The scenes, like you said, oh, I see the scene in the trailer. It plays even funnier in the context of the movie. Um action for this type of film it's not john wick but michelle rodriguez kicks a lot of ass they all do they all do they all do a great job there um i'm just gonna you know forget individual scores for each thing i'm just gonna give you my overall score for for what it's trying to achieve in is this crowd pleasing box office fantasy film with humor action Decent special effects that are a little bit more, a little bit elevated based on what else you're getting in the industry right now. I would say for what it's trying to achieve, 10 out of freaking 10. Go see this movie. Go see it twice. Go, go tell your wife, your friends, your family, and take them all to the theater, and you're going to have a good time. And instant classic franchise starter. I can't wait to see their next journey. Please, please make it happen. And please make Mel Michelle Rodriguez a star. Use her somewhere else. Use her in Star Wars, Marvel. She deserves more work. This is her best, one of her best. I'm going to say it's her best role. It's her best role because it shows the variety of things she could do. But congrats to the whole cast. And congrats to you if you listen to my review and you go check it out. I will see you next time. Have a good night. And let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are once you see Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves.